So to start here, let's really talk about how men and women think differently online. So we need to understand that on online dating, the way you perceive things is different than all the girls that you're trying to match with. So this is probably why you might have felt like, you know, there was no real good way to do online dating is just because men and women think about it so differently that to you it was confusing, but to women, they know what they want. They just weren't getting that. And so I'm going to help show you how to present that in your online profile. Or one thing that is different between men and women is the fear that they have. And that is that, you know, a girl is going to think, well, this guy murdered me. Because remember, online dating, you hear all these stories and scary stories, especially for girls. So that really will run through her, through her head. Will this guy murder me? Will this guy stalk or annoy me? So is this going to be one of those guys that if I give him my number, he won't take a hint and stop talking to me? Or is this going to be some really awkward date? So when you realize that women really think about these things, you'll have a little more compassion for them about, you know, they have to make these snap judgments for their own safety. And if your profile is not set up in a way that is helping her see that you're not going to do any of these things, that's one of those times where she will just say, you know what, I'm not going to bother and she'll swipe left on you. And then the second thing that is really different between men and women is all the details. So women look far more closely at things that we as guys just don't naturally notice. They just kind of evade our eye. So she'll really think about why does his profile say that? She'll, she'll see what you wrote and then in her head she'll go, what kind of a guy would say that? And she'll actually, so you might think you're joking and if it comes off wrong to a woman, she literally is, is thinking, why would he say that? So they really look into the meaning of everything. Why is he by himself in his pictures? So if you think you're looking all good in all your pictures, she is, might be wondering, where are your friends? Or why are you taking all the pictures? If you don't get along with other people, if she can't see that you can you know, be out there in a group of people and be social with others, she's going to be a little scared to get alone with you on a date. And then why did he message me that? A lot of times guys just send messages and we don't even think about them. We kind of disconnect ourselves from our phone or online. So we kind of don't realize we just kind of send messages on autopilot. And she's really interpreting everything you say and kind of like, why would he, why would he mention that? Why would he say that? So it's really important to be intentional with what you say and think about why you're saying it. Because online, all she has is your profile and the words you message her to base your entire character as a man off of. So you might think you're a really cool guy, but remember, she doesn't know that and you have to make it easy for her to see the real you. So reasons men fail at online dating, if you eliminate these three things, you'll get more matches. The first one is your profile picture doesn't stand out. With so many choices, women you know, are just gonna make a snap judgment, left, 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 until you're one of the few that make your profile picture stand out. And I'm gonna teach you some ways to do that. <clears throat> the second would be your pictures create that fear response we were talking about. So maybe you have pictures that um, to her send a signal that, oh my gosh, this guy's alone all the time. That's really, oh, that's creepy. That's weird. So you might just be putting pictures up that strike one of those fear responses and that immediately loses you any chance with a woman. And the third one is your bio isn't written well. I put this number three because you can have a great, you know, pictures and all that and you could have no bio at all and you might get some matches. But when you have a really well-written bio, everything else is easier because she looks at your pictures. If you were kind of like a in-between on whether she thought you were attractive or not, she'll look at your bio. And if you have something really witty to say or something fun in your bio, you now pass that test and she goes, okay, I'll give him a chance, swipe right. But if you have no bio, 
she might want to talk to you, but now you're not really giving her any good way to um, make her feel like she can lead in and say something to you. So having a great bio is really the under, kind of the under, um, under the radar thing that really helps men, and most men don't know how to write one, so we're going to do that. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.